guys, Athena here. Today I have a HOTS Seed of Life build for you. Now I'm sure many of you know and heard of HOTS Seed of Life. It's a very commonly known build to be talked about. However, today we're going to look under the hood of this build. As per usual, I've received this live on Twitch, figured out the Aries and Talents, then jumped straight into Mythic Plus. Obviously as a meta build, this performed wonderfully. What I carded for this build was Mage Armor, Tranquility, Titan Script, and Wild Growth. Now let's get into the journey. Oh, there's our rejuvenation. Perfect. Ah, perfect. Divine protection. What? We got offered divine protection twice, chat. What? Sure, we'll take Drain Soul. The third divine protection. It wants us to be a tank, chat. Wow, we've been offered divine spirit twice now. Nice. That's huge. Yeah, we'll take Blank, sure. Sure, we'll take Regrowth. And we'll take Lesser Healing. Uh, we'll take Consecration for sure. Ah, uh, Cure Disease is good, but Consecration. We'll try to get Cleanse. No! My Cleanse! My baby! I wanted my Cleanse! How's your day going, Krom? Goodbye, Holy Light. Healing stream, let's go! We're fucking set, chat. We're fucking set! Divine Shield, baby. We're taking it. Shit, do we take Cure Toxin or Feign Death? I guess Cure Toxin. Yes, then we get rid of Powered Shield. Nice. Divine Sacrifice. 30% of all damage taken by party members within 30 yards is redirected to the Paladin. Divine Sacrifice seems interesting. <gasps> oh my god, chat. We, this is it, chat. This is it. We did it. We're doing it. It's happening. Oh, shit. Hell yeah, we got Curse of the Elements. <gasps> oh my god! What the fuck? What the fuck? Chat, we're fucking pogged. We're fucking, we're fucking cracked right now. Screw Drain Souls. Are you going to Nature's Splendor for sure? We'll go into Nature's Rejuvenation and Improve Rejuvenation. The Gift of Nature obviously makes sense. Improved Tranquility makes sense. Arcane Meditation. Increase, we'll go Meditation. Yeah. Then under Shaman, let's take a look at it. We'll go Ancestral Awakening. Restoration of Totems. Because we're going to go to the Totem Package. We're going to go Purification. Spirit, right, right, yeah. We want to go Spiritual Guidance, right? Because we want a Spirit Stack now. Yeah, Living Spirit seems really good. And we need one more talent gone. We'll get rid of one of our haste procs. Okay, we'll do- I actually dropped Gift of the Earth Mother, mainly because the haste on Rejuve would make the hot last 9 seconds instead of 18. I ended up using too many GCDs, trying to keep Rejuve up on the whole party, and decided it was not worth the benefit. We're gonna go Seed of Life, Flow of Life. We want that for the Tranquility. We're gonna go Healing Garden, because we want to keep the hots going. Nimble Mind, our haste. I ended up taking out Nimble Mind as the 5% haste was not needed for the direction we took the build. Lesser Healing Wave was already at 1.05 seconds, and we no longer wanted our rejuves to scale with haste. So instead, I went with the typical Frugal route. We'll go like the Serenity Package. We'll take like Celestial Focus, I guess. What is it? It's Restorative Totem? Do I have that? Yes, I do. What's Fierce Mind again? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Play test it. I need to figure it out myself, but I don't think I would in my mind. Before we get into the gameplay, I want to go over some of the key things to consider when looking at this build. When you're about to pull, you want to have your regrowth on the tank and ideally get healing stream totem down. After that, you want to always keep rejuve and wild growth up. Since we're using frugal, this will guarantee crits on your lesser healing wave. With ancestral healing, this will work like healing touch overflow. You're going to want to use tranquility as a big healing cooldown, ideally when you have hot set up on everyone. Now that we've gone over the basics, let's enjoy some gameplay. 